Back to Duke in North Carolina. Jared Papsy for Duke. Lachlan McNeil. Toronto, Ontario. 19 wins this year for McNeil. Earned the three seed. However, a little bit of difficulty late for Lachlan. He dropped two of his last three matches in the ACC, both very tight, losing to Ryan Jack in the final duel of the year, 7-5, to five, and Rocky had the one-point loss to Cole Matthews. What have you noticed with McNeil as he progresses his way into the ACC championship waters for the first time in his career? He's had two swings. Started off the season slow, had some losses where on paper he should not have lost, and then he had a great run, and then he ran into the very tough Cole Matthews, couldn't figure it out, and Ryan Jack wrestled an absolutely outstanding match against him. One of the things that Lackley McNeil needs to do is open up his offense, meaning taking shots, because he's very good at what's called sitting the corner. When guys shoot in, he's very good at getting to the side and then creating his offense from there. And that's what he's doing right here. He's trying to get there, get to the side, and then he'll look to hook up a cradle from here. And there, and it, perhaps he did a good job of getting his head to the outside because if he kept his head on the inside, Lachlan McNeil would have had the cradle. This is where he's really good, sitting in a corner and get his hips across. But when people know that, they know, hey, as soon as I shoot, I gotta get my head to the outside or go to a double. McNeil with a leg in, two nothing lead. Wrestling against Jared Papsy, his first year at Duke. Spent four years with Pat Papalizio in the Wolfpack wrestling room. Wrestled at NC State. I'm sure he has a few fans here because uh, he wrestled for NC State, but also they don't like UNC, so he has some people cheering for him. Trying to figure out a way to get out from underneath inside a minute to go. Opening period, McNeil behind the takedown, a 2-0 lead. Papsy very cautiously working his way up into a stand-up. McNeil able to return him back down, use that foot on the trip. Takes a look over at the tower clock. Approaching one minute of riding time for McNeil in this first period. Good hustle to get out of here. Short time, let's see if they're gonna try and get some offense going here. This is again one of the things we, we, we want to see from Lachlan McNeil. Committed shots. He has a repertoire, he said it before, he watches wrestling all of the time. Yeah, he told us he watches wrestling every day of the week. He's a huge fan of the sport. He would go to nationals to watch as a spectator. And Coleman Scott, the Olympic bronze medalist, has certainly been happy with the development from McNeil. And Scott's a guy that, that told us, he says, I was never perfect in my days at Oklahoma State. You need losses along the way. And he's hoping that McNeil has learned from his losses. And now it's go time in his freshman run. Remember, McNeil redshirted last year for the Tar Heels. No one really remembers a loss when you're an All-American at the end of the year or a national champion. And these are all learning experiences. Any wrestler or athlete, for that matter, would say that losing oftentimes teaches you more than winning. Really sneaky thing that Lapping Wheel did. First, he had the right leg in, and then he put the left leg in. He needs to, he's doing a good job of keeping his heels in. He needs to keep his heels in and stay up. Good job there by McNeil just to suck him back. Brings him right back down to his base. Minute 17. Second period, 2-1. to one. Majority of this match has been Papsy trying to get out from underneath. Good news for Duke is McNeil hasn't been able to get any turns yet. He was close there, but Papsy breaks free and will tie. We are tied. We, we, are, we are tied. Papsy is in his match. You just gotta see him be very disciplined on his offense. Papsy went seven and six last year for North Carolina State. Wrestled in only one duel in his four seasons here in Raleigh. Redshirted back in the 2019 season. A Pennsylvania native, Bethlehem Catholic out of Nazareth. 
See, what Pap, see, I would, I would figure to attack McNeil, you want to shoot angles. You don't want to shoot him straight on because he's going to sit the corner. So I'm thinking sweep singles to make him try to square up on you. That control here by McNeil. He is not letting Papsy take any territory. He's keeping his heels toward the boundary. Short time wrestling, six seconds to go. McNeil will go into the third period with a little more than two minutes of riding time and a 2-2 tie for Glenn Lanham and Duke. It's been a tough year because of the injuries, but an opportunity here for the veteran coach in year number 10 in Durham. Hey, look, Glenn knows how important this is. He knows that Papsy is in his match and he's to encourage him. When you're a coach, there's two things you want to do. You want to explain and encourage. And Glenn Lanham does a good job of doing both. Explaining what do they need to do better. Explain the situation and then encourage them to do what they explain. It looks like the discussion with Lanham and, and Papsy is let's go optional with the start. And that is what they are going to do. Patch is in his match. He's in his match. The question is, how are you going to attack Lackland McNeil? Lackland McNeil does not have to do a lot, but that's it. Now, he's got to stay tight on the hip. He wants to try and get all the way behind. He doesn't want to get there. Uh, he lost the grip. But that's a good shot there. He shot a double. Now he knows he can get in. Most starting to pick up just a little bit. You see the urgency now from Patsy. Oh, good. Good throw by there. Underhook throw by. Didn't throw it by, just kind of underhook to the leg. McNeil debating which side to go. Now jumps around to the front. When he, when he jumps to the front, he just needs his need to just stand up from there. He jumps to the front, stand up from there. And you know what the crazy thing is, and, and fans at home say, just do this, just do that. It's tough. It, it's tough. So he let him go. Coach Ramos said to let him go, and he went right back to it. Underhook. call it's five three a takedown go back to that double perhaps he was in on that double keep in mind mcneil has a mountain's worth of riding time over two and a half minutes so he has the riding point locked as wheel perhaps he is going to have to get a takedown and then try to get mcneil over to his back and have to put together a chain sequence here with 23 seconds to go Trying to change his levels. Nothing really committed, though, from the graduate student from Duke. And nothing to lose. Just, just try something. McNeil knows he's in a good position. He's not getting too crazy. Just keeping his base in the center. Final few moments. One last ditched effort here by Papsy. And it will be Lachlan McNeil in his ACC championship debut. A very workmanlike win with the riding time and a 6-3 victory for McNeil in North Carolina with a couple of opening round wins here on that too. And that's what happens. The first match, you just want to get it out your system, figure out what you did well, just get it out of your system. The second match, you have your second win in, and you know, okay, I did my first ACC title and tournament championship, and now I know what to expect. So a win is a win. You just want to progress and that's what probably coach Ramos is saying hey look you won don't worry about it you may not have scored as many points as you wanted but you're wrestling in the semifinals 